Uh, I thought I thought that I was gonna do Orgo probably next week because I already did Orgo this week as well because I was always gonna focus on some grade eleven problems. But it's okay, we got that out of the way, so don't worry about that. Um, let's look at number eight. This number, that was number seven, right? Yeah. Number eight here says, what solutions of silver nitrate and calcium chloride are mixed, or when solutions of silver nitrate and calcium chloride are mixed? Uh, silver chloride precipitates out of the solution according to the formula. What mass of silver chloride can be produced from 1.26 liters of a 0.10, 0 0.160 molars of solution of silver nitrate? So let me just write this down. I have 2 Ag out of 3 plus CaCl2 would give me 2 AgCl plus CaNO3 2 here. It says, what mass of uh, silver chloride can be produced from uh, 1.26 liters of a 1.60 moles molarity solution of silver nitrate? So silver nitrate was uh, this guy here. So I have, again, uh, this case I have my molarity or my concentration, I'm going to say. This is concentration, which is 0 0.160 molars. And I have my volume, which is 1.26 liters, which means I can solve for my moles instantly, right? Moles is simply just um, SC times V here, right? Because the concentration is moles divided by volume, which means moles is uh, 0 0.160 times 1.26 here. So it's multiplication, right? <coughs> so give me 0 0.2016 moles of solution here and again as you can see i have two my my coefficient here is two for silver nitrate and two for silver chloride here right which means uh, my multiple ratios here are exactly the same so again uh, silver chloride which means we'll also have 0 0.2016 moles um, and then simply i would have to basically find the molar mass of silver chloride and then to find the mass of silver chloride so i'm kind of going um uh, I'm kind of just using stoichiometry to figure out this problem here. So I need molar mass and my finally my mass here, right? So silver chloride again. Silver I have Ag here, which is 107.87. So I have 107.87 plus chloride. We know it's 34.45, uh, which will give me a total molar mass of 107.87 plus 35.45. We give me a total molar mass of 143. 0.32 grams per mole and we can simply just um we can simply just uh multiply both of these guys to figure out the mass right so 143.32 times 0 0.2016 which would be a mass of 28.89 solution uh grams 28.89 grams of solution here so that's number a so a here is correct right they wrote 28.88 i wrote 89 same thing this here is my solution for a which is awesome and B here says the reaction described in part A required 3.49 uh, liters of calcium chloride. What concentration of what was the concentration of this calcium chloride solution? So they're now looking at calcium chloride here. So let me do this in blue. And they they required 3.49 liters here. So basically, what I'm going to have to do is again, if I want to figure out the mole, if I want to figure out the concentration, right? I'm going to have to figure out the moles first. Um, someone says hi. I says hello, I say hello as well. Um, so I'm gonna have to figure out my moles first, right? So if I have 0 0.2016 and this is a this is has a coefficient of two here, I'm gonna have to divide it by two to get uh, the calcium chloride uh, mol moles as well. So 0 0.206, I'm gonna have to divide that by two. 2016 divided by two to get me basically um, basically the um, the the the, the the moles of calcium chloride here. So 0 0.1008 here. Um, so that's going to be moles of calcium chloride, and then I'm going to have to multiply that by multiply the the the. Um, I'm going to have to sorry divide my moles by my volume to figure out my concentration here. So this guy's question. Um, yeah, you can shoot. Just uh, t type on the chat, and if I have time today, I'll try to answer the question here. Um, so I have C equals N over V, right? So concentration equals uh, moles over volume. So I'm going to have 0 0.1008 divided by 3.49 to get my concentration of my calcium chloride, which is 0 0.0289 here, 0 0.0, sorry, 0 0.0289 molarity here. And this here is going to be my solution. Again, this here is the correct solution for this answer as well. So the solution here is correct. The solution is correct. 
put an analysis provided as well. So that's number eight. <laughs>